What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner. Yeah, I'm back again. Last night, we had a great time in Kevin's Corner live on YouTube talking about all kind of stuff, which have now filtered over into the day. I got more stuff to talk about. For example, Kirsten Nielsen goes before Congress and she says that the immigration situation is in such dire straits that she can't even be responsible for who comes in the country at this point. She doesn't know who actually is coming in or out of the country. It's out of control. Right now, that means that if I'm a criminal, which I'm surprised that the Democrats don't understand this because, you know, um, they they think like criminals all the time. So since they think like criminals, why can't they insert themselves in a scenario where if I am somebody who wants to do damage to the United States, I would find vulnerable areas to come in. Yeah. If I if I say, you know, chances of me getting into the United States via plane. No, nah, that's not going to happen. Chances of me uh, coming in through boat. No, that's not going to happen. But you know what? If I zip down to South America and just track my way on up to the border, slide across that way possible because what i'm seeing is that they're being overwhelmed yeah um i figure i can just go ahead blend in with the masses while we bum rush and we'll get in i may get caught may not who knows but i'll give it a try and if i'm not the only one it's going to be several of us maybe perhaps i'm not sure but none the, uh, nonetheless you would think our leaders who are supposed to be intelligent which i question um and supposed to be looking at all the scenarios that could possibly happen that would hurt American citizens and then put provisions in place to prevent that, you would think they want to do that, right? I mean, if I'm watching over my family and I find that the back door doesn't have a lock on it or um, it's no door at all, it just fell off the hinges. How long should I wait to put a door up and just allow my family to sleep at night wondering if somebody's going to come through or not. I don't know. We, she doesn't know. I mean, I just want them, you know, your wife and their scared kids in the bedroom like, Daddy, I heard a noise downstairs. All of that stuff. Any person that is responsible for watching over their family or their country in this case should be concerned about anything that could put their family or country in danger. But apparently the Democrats, uh -uh, they... They don't have this type of deductive reasoning. They're not able to sit there and listen to the professionals lay down a case of why we should do something immediately about the border. OK, you know, instead of listening to the professionals like they always tell President Trump to do, you're not listening to your intel uh, committee. They're giving you all the information. You're not taking it into heart. Well, now Kirsten Nielsen gives them the data and they're. They choose to attack her. You know, I mean, I guess they're going to attack the messenger. All she's doing is trying to give them data and educate them on the problem so they could come up with a solution. But instead, they're going, you know what the real problem is? You and all your wickedness and hatred towards Latinos and people of color. That's what the real problem is. So let me break it down on a very practical scale. So all of the haters out there who think that, Anybody is, that is in favor of border control um, are just racist and xenophobes and, and all of that stuff they try to label us with. Let me put it in this terms. She said that this year we're looking at a million potential people coming across the border, illegal immigrants, a million. It's going to be overwhelmed, okay? Meaning it's coming. It's happening. The data is coming in. We're seeing it all the way. We're tracking it. Yeah. So now we should do something to stop this. You don't want to wait until they all show up and then say, we got to do something. <clears throat> Excuse me. Am I allergic to you? Gizmo? Perhaps. Anyway, now, so you don't want to wait then because it's too late, right? So the government's job is supposed to look out for us preemptively, right? Especially if the intel says, look out, something's coming. So let me put it in another scenario. The weathermen say, listen, we're about to be hit with the biggest hurricane ever. It's coming. It's coming. Now, all of the tracking show that it's coming. All of the professionals, the radars, the Doppler, 
They're all like, you know what? You see it? It's just coming together. And it's moving rapidly across the ocean, coming right to, um, you know, the, the coast of Florida. And, and it's going to be a big one. Biggest one we ever had. Biggest one we ever had. We got to do something about it. Now, instead of putting up sandbags, barriers, boarding up stuff, evacuating, all of that stuff, all of the leaders, president all the way down, I guess the governor of that area, they're just looking at it like, we don't believe you. We don't think it's going to be as bad as you say it is. It's not a national emergency. We're not going to evacuate people, put anything in place to stop it or prevent that hurricane from destroying all of Florida. You know why? Because see, by you saying that, you're being racist somehow, because guess what? Now, all the people of privilege, they can move, but all the people that are poor and disenfranchised, what? They got to stay there. I mean, so by you bringing us this data, somehow we're going to make this sound like your information is coming from a place of division, discrimination, racism against the poor that can't maybe get out as fast, or maybe the elderly who's sickly, huh? What are they supposed to do? You're discriminating against them and you're scaring them. You're bringing nothing but just fear and rhetoric, okay? So we're not going to do anything. Then all of a sudden, the hurricane shows up. It's too late to put the barriers up. It's too late to board up the doors and the windows. It's too late to evacuate the people. It's here. But the government didn't take notice. They didn't believe the intel. They didn't believe the professionals. They downplayed it. They said it's not a crisis. It's not as big as you say it's going to be. And then it blows all Florida away. Now, wouldn't they be held accountable? I would think. So why aren't they being held accountable to acting as if the warnings that were given by Border Patrol agents, the uh, National Director of Secu Security, um, Kirsten Nielsen, why aren't they taking her seriously? I heard this guy just now on uh, Overtime. This guy had the nerve, Harley, somebody, Harley Rauda or something. He's a, a a Democrat from, I don't know where he's from, California, perhaps. He said, well, you know how we address the situation? We have to start at the source, meaning Honduras, these countries. We have to do things. We have to make it a better economic situation for them and their country so that they won't feel like they need to leave their country. Okay, so what you're really saying is we need to waste more money sending it to their country and their leaders like we haven't been doing that before and banking on them saying, well, since we got all this money, we're going to distribute the wealth to all the people, make them happy. They won't want to leave or perhaps that government will say, we'll use this money like we want to since y'all just giving it to us and saying, hey, um, we're just trusting that you're going to do the right thing with that cheese. So we give it to them and then the people still come. So now all of that money we're wasting, giving it to them. We could have built the wall, huh? I mean, you're telling me that making their country a better economic situation um, is the key to stopping illegal immigration. I believe we've been doing that. I believe we've been sending billions to these countries and their people still coming. That is like you taking over someone's child. Uh, because, you know, with their child, just, you know, we're going to send our children to stay with you. But before the children come, you've been paying them. You've been helping out. You've been giving money to their household, all of that stuff. And then they send their kids to you to live with you. Now they're double dipping. Now, all of a sudden, you're taking care of their kids. Plus, you're giving money to them. And you're saying, well, hold up. Why am I giving money to you? When you ain't even solving the problem, you're not giving it to the kids. Now the kids done came to me and I'm taking care of the kids and still giving you money. You see how dumb our leaders are. President Trump was correct when he said our leaders are dumb. They're blind. They're acting as if they don't understand illegal immigration, why it's an incentive to come to this country. When all of our immigration laws yell out with a bullhorn, come here. We got provisions. Bring a kid, by the way. That should get out of jail. Free card. Yeah. And then she said, all of these girls are being raped. And she said, they have to give a pregnancy test to any girl under 10, over 10 years old. Now, if the Dems cared about all these people, just, just coming in the kids and how they're being ripped, ripped from their mothers and fathers or ripped from their parents, all of that stuff. So I guess they're choosing that they'd rather them be raped versus ripped. I mean, is it would you make a choice? Is it going to be raped or ripped? You know, and they're, oh, well, they're going to be ripped. The studies even show that most of these families 
They don't even have the real kids with them. So I guess that's worth that small portion that actually do bring their own kids. It's worth the large portion that are faking it and bringing kids and using them as get out of jail free cards or putting them into child slavery, sex trafficking, all of these things. So that small percentage that you might catch, yeah, this is a real family member right here, but the other 17,000, no, no, they're all just kids being stolen and trafficked across the border. But the Democrats are enablers. And then this knucklehead had the nerve to say when the lady brought up all the girls being raped, he said, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, like he understands and here's his solution. Exactly. This is a suggestion. Exactly. I mean, just imagine how horrific those conditions have to be for them to put themselves through all of that, come all the way here knowing they could be raped and sold into trafficking. It once again shows the necessity for us to reach out and help them because look at that. They're coming from such a horrific situation that they're willing to put their lives and their bodies in jeopardy just to get to America. See, I mean, that right there shows you that we, we have a responsibility to, to be humanitarians and reach out for them and let them all come in. Or, or I'm just thinking, maybe if we build the wall, change our laws, they won't come anyway. They would say, well, heck, there's no incentive anymore. We can't get over the wall and their laws won't just say, OK, you got a kid. Come on, you get on in here. Just wander around and we'll come back and check on you in about two years. Um, yeah, that that right there hasn't been working for the last 40 years. So my question becomes. What choices do you make? The dumb ones that the Democrats suggest, like more technology. We need some uh, uh, some some drones. And we need to put more money in their countries to try to help them keep their people here or perhaps taking away all the incentive for them to even come. Now, in closing, since those some of y'all I gave an example, but last night on my show, some of y'all didn't see it. So I'm going to say it again. The big influx with all of these illegal immigrants trying to get here is because they fear that the sale may end. That's right. If you go to Costco's. And I was saying last night, I like Costco's. I go there, eat free, go to all the little snack stations, act like, a, you know, I'm the first time person. Hey, can I have a piece of that? What is that? Oh, yeah, that's good. Come back a couple minutes later, take the glasses off. Excuse me. Um, Can I have some of that? Wait, aren't you the one that was there? What? No. Uh, uh. Change the accent. Up. Hello, Mike. You know what? Well, I like a piece of that right there. You know, change the accent, eat all the snacks at Costco's. But not eating the free stuff. I'm talking about a real sale where they're like, you know what? All uh, the shirts and, and TVs and all that stuff, we're liquidating. You got three days to get here and then the prices are going back up. What do you think would happen? I mean, do you think the people would say, well, you know what? We'll wait the next year and hopefully the sale will come back. No, they're going to come to Costco's and flood it, try to get it before they get rid of the sale. So now you see Trump, his administration doing everything he can to deal with illegal immigration. That right there is encouraging to all of those people down there saying, man, we got to get there before this man actually fulfills his promise. That gives them more incentive to get here before the sale is over. Because right now, the Democrats are the ones that are still selling. All of this free stuff. Come on over here. You get amnesty. You get this work. We got your back. And Trump is saying, I'm about to shut the sale down. Now, all of them are trying to get over here to get grandfathered in under that stupid laws that we got. That's why they're increasing. And so we need to do something ASAP. But unfortunately, our leaders up there right now, I'm telling you, it is a complete clown show. Circus, man. Full-blown monkey shine. It's pitiful. It really is. It's disgusting. It's almost as if we need to do a litmus test to all of them to find out if you're actually mentally stable enough to run the country. When individuals like myself and others can do exactly what they should be doing. I mean, right now, if you're watching this video, if me and you, we got together and we talked about how to solve this problem, I bet you we can get it solved in a couple of days. I'm pretty sure because we already see the problem. We already got the suggestions that we need to do to solve the problem. We can do it. But yet we got all these brainiacs up there in Washington, Democrats and Republicans scratching their heads. What we need is a bipartisanship, get together over team. We need to work together. 
We need, well, when are you guys going to do that? I, you know, that's what I've been saying. That's what I've been saying. We just need to work together. I mean, because see, the Republicans didn't do it back in 75 and the Democrats and the Republicans. Well, the Democrats didn't do, both of them stink right now. Only person trying to do something is the president and a few other stragglers. And yet they're trying to block him. Hmm. You wonder why. Anyway, you've been listening to my rant along with Gizmo, who probably is like, why is he so angry? I'm just going along for the ride. I'm scared for my life. He's such a beastly man. No, I'm not. Be I wouldn't hurt you, though, Gizmo. No. Shh, 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 shh. You got to pet him hard so they can feel it. See? Shh. There you go. Anyway, find me every Wednesday night, 730 in Kevin's Corner at YouTube. I go live. Also, check me out on um, my radio blog talk show. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Also, check out Extreme Tees. You will like their products. Click on the link in the below and put my name in the promo, Kevin, and you'll get a 20% discount. Don't forget to uh, check me out on YouTube and Twitter. And then finally, if you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, feel free. There's a link in the bottom. Do that as well. God bless you. See you next time in Kevin's Corner.